Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where yet again, one week at a time, one game at a time, we are working my way through my ever-growing Steam list. Um, but what's nice, I think, about this uh, very cute corner of YouTube is that I get to play through some of my smaller indie uh, wild cards, sometimes even quite more, a little bit more abstract or a little bit more unusual that I wouldn't maybe put on Twitch so much. So um, today we're going to play a game called Venba, which has been recommended to me by a couple of people now that I trust the judgment of. And um, yeah, it just looks beautiful. I love the art style from what I've seen of it. Um, it looks really unique. And um, I don't know, I've been playing a, a couple of things. It reminds me a little bit of like my walk with Yaya, the game I played on this channel, where I think it's really nice seeing some kind of like really genuine family experiences being put into indie video games, you know, um, and not having it all be about I guess like you know action and combat and that type of thing or, or even like adventure on a grand scale it's more about the little things in life which um I love that games can capture sometimes in, in another way that other things can't um so yeah this one is is definitely a game for maybe a hot drink of any kind so get yourself a tea or a coffee or hot chocolate um or any other hot drink chai I'm trying to think of literally any other hot drinks out the top of my head um but yes get one of those and uh, I'm excited to do this with you so let's do it together Sorry, I'm just really enjoying the soundtrack already. It's pretty, it's a bit loud though. I need to turn the uh, the sound down a little bit. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's just turn this down. Let's just turn this down real quick. I'm gonna do down mouse and keys. Okay, maybe like there. That feels right, right? Music sound effects. Resolution, let's crank that right up. Camera Bob. Who is Bob? Camera Bob. I'm guessing that means like camera bobbing, but I, I instead am going to interpret that as the camera being operated by someone called Bob. You know, let's personalize the cameraman a little bit. So let's do that. I'm good with that. Is that saved? Lovely. Oh my gosh, it's so quick. That's it. Options or play. Straight away. I wonder if the volume is, is right. I don't want it to be too low. Sorry, I'm second guessing myself. Let's put it, let's put it there. Let's put it there. Oh my gosh, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Play. This, ga is, this game is gonna make me hungry, isn't it? It's gonna make me hungry and I tell you what, I'm a, oh. Think well before you dare, and never ruminate once in action. Oh my god, I love that. I love that. Oh, it's reminding me a little bit of the art style of um, Florence as well. Wait, so that's a calendar? Like a... Like a... Yeah, just a calendar on the wall? Rise and shine, honey. What's he doing? Leaving already? Ayo, sorry, did I wake you? Yes, you were rustling back there like a wild beast. What time is it? Okay, listen, if it's before, if it's before 9 a.m., then it's unacceptable that she's awake at this time. Also, I'm so aware of, um, it's so funny, I try not to have my hair tied back for when I do videos or Twitch because I just look like a moon because you can't see my hair really behind me. So I just look like a, just like a bald moon. Look at my look at my little white face, um, but I promise you I do have hair. It is just back here instead, um, but I'm just scraping it back today because I've um, I've had it down all day. I just wanted to get it out of my face, so just um, just reminding you that I do have hair for this video. Um, okay, yeah, if he's woken up, if he's woken her up before nine, that for me is um, illegal. That's it. All F four, ending the game. How are you feeling? Is she sick? Tired or nauseous? I mean, she looks either. She looks both. Let's say nauseous. Just because I feel like tired is too obvious. Let's go with a different option. Let's go sick. I feel sick. Just like yesterday. So she is ill. Ah. Okay. I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. Oh, so does the cooking and stuff come from like a sick day? So they, they start cooking because she's ill? 
I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There's some leftover idli batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. Idli? Am I saying that right? You can steam some idlis, idlis, plural, quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. What? Doesn't seem that difficult. It's okay, I was just about to leave. It's just idli, it's very easy. It'll take me too long, Venba, don't worry. Is Venba like, um, I guess like a pet name? Or like a term of endearment? Or is her name Venba? And then the Ayo, as in that was like an Ayo, like an exclamation. Um, I can just survive on the coffee machine. No, that's not enough sustenance. Is she gonna rustle up some food even though she feels ill? No, let's, oh, she does feel, she does feel ill. I'm trying to think of what I would do. I'm trying to think of what I would do. Is this her dad? There were a lot of times at school where I was sick and my parents were more of the mentality of like, no, you, you are you are probably okay to go to school. Like, unless I was literally, like, vomiting everywhere, it would be very difficult to convince my parents to let me have a day, have a day off school. Um, but the fact that he's like, look, if you're sick, don't worry. And the fact that he's about to leave with no food, maybe we can just try and cook him something. Okay, her name is Venba then. Venba, really, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Okay, good. She's going to have some food herself. Just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. Okay. I mean, the game is there to be played. If she was like, oh, don't worry about it, then we wouldn't even get to cook. And I'm here to cook. It's a cute intro. I liked it. Ding, ding, ding. Bless. Okay, now I feel bad. She looks rough. She looks so unhappy. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although, recipe book? Should I try my mother's recipe for once? The way I make Italy is never as soft as hers. Is this like a, um, like a wheat thing, like a bread type thing? And they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. Mama's recipes. Mama's recipes. There is nothing quite as good as like like comfort food my mum um my mum my mum has a phrase called i wonder if she got it from my grandma when my grandma was alive but my mum has this phrase called cupboard love have i told i'm sure i've maybe mentioned this on on a video before maybe but cupboard love being love for someone that has really derived from the excitement of getting to eat something that they have either brought you or cooked for you or are getting for you so like if if like a family member comes in and has just made you fresh xyz that you know that, that you love and you're like oh my god i love you so much that would be cupboard love because the the love is coming from the cupboard really um and so whenever mum would like give me something that she knows that I would love or I'm just, I'm so excited to eat. She'd be, and I'd be like, I love you so much. She'd be like, cupboard love, cupboard love. But it's so true. I notice myself doing it now all the time. You know, someone gets me a bubble tea or someone brings me my favorite snacks. I'm like, freaking love you. And it is cute. That's cupboard love for you right there. Um, they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. Okay, I want to see what they look like. I should just make them her way today. Hmm. If the recipe is still readable, that is. Why is, is it worn away? Okay, I'm so excited to cook. Recipe book. Tools. Uh, idli plate. Towel. Cooker. Water and the banana batter. Is that that's the whole recipe? Okay, okay. Holes to let steam through. These also have holes, so batter can cook. Make sure to... Oh no. 
only difference from mine seems to be the holes in the plates. The recipe also calls for towels, I'm not sure why. But Amma swears this method makes the idlis a lot softer. I'm so scared! So should I put... It looks like it's connected. This is connected to this. So do I boil... Do I put the water in here? Oh, hang on. Click and drag. Can I turn it on? I should close the lid. Oh. And then this is... No. Where is the lid? Hang on. Is this the lid? Oh, it's like a steamer. Kind of thing. So... Okay, I think I'm getting there. So where's the where's the towels again? Do the towels go in between? Okay, lump in the hole. Yep. Then a towel in the middle. I don't think I should cover the butter with the towel. Okay, fine. Okay. Last layer. Then the lid. Turn it on. What's the towel for, though? I'm really stressed to see whether I messed it up or not. Like... I didn't put the towels in. Okay. Okay, should I put a towel? Hang on. I should try something different. Maybe the towel would help stop the leak. I tried. Not a towel in here now. Okay. Water. Thingy. Oh, last time I added the batter like this batter leaked through the tiny holes. Do I put the plate on one of these? Or do I put one of these on one of these? La. Nice. Understood. Oh, I'm so hungry. Yeah. Okay, so it's like it's like a steamed like a like a steamed bread pancakey type thing. A bit like a bao bun but not flat, like a flat thing. Oh god, please. It looks like only the bottom plate cooked. Why? Maybe the steam from the water didn't reach the upper plates. Why? There must be an orientation of these plates that would let the steam pass freely. Again. What? Or should I not do three at a time? What happens if I just do one, one, one layer at a time? I should stack all three plates. Okay, I understand that. But the problem is... Do some of them not need a towel? Okay, I'm gonna have a hint. Give me one hint. No, no, I really, <laughs> I really want a hint. Put a towel on each lily plate before putting the batter on. I did! Put a towel on each plate before putting the batter on. Oh, 
Make sure that each plate's batter slot is directly above the steam holes. Okay, what? Oh, you can rotate? Oh. I get it. How can I tell where the steam holes are, though? Hang on. So the dots... Okay, okay, I get it. I get it, I get it. I understand. So, this. Then this. On. If I had the plate now, with the steam holes, the pot would be actually... Could okay, ro rotate this first. Oh my gosh, no one told me this was going to be so hard. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, yes, I understand that. But the problem is, if I rotate this, then it's now going to all be in the wrong place. The one underneath is going to be in the wrong place. It's going to be my third time messing it up. Drum roll. I mean, what do we what do we think? Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. I'm gonna put my seat up a little bit. I feel like I'm too low down. I'm too low down. Check the camera. Better. Okay, everybody, we're gonna check. Okay, that's a, that's good, right? No wonder she got it wrong three times. She's sick. Let's just blame it on the fact that she's sick. You know, it's not my fault. Oh, they got faces on. Dip and everything. Oh, wow. You even took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot my beard, though. <laughs> you really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband... Oh, sorry. You know what? She just looks so young to me. I just assumed, for example, that was her dad. But they're a couple. Because um, when she said school as well, I was thinking, is she a teacher? What else could I do? My husband can't figure out, it please. Remember, I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skip lunch once. Pavlan. Pavlan, you're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. I love, I love the, the nurturing that comes so naturally to this character, of course. And in so many cultures as well, like letting someone go hungry being such a unbearable notion. I know for me in the Greek side of my family, that would be mad. If I ever went to my grandma, you know, I'm hungry. It would be like everything would get thrown out. Whatever she was doing, it would stop to make sure that I had food. Um, I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I had let you leave, I couldn't sleep peacefully. What will I do for lunch? Okay, I know the nice thing to say would be to be like, oh, if you're not eating, then I can't sleep. But also, I'm thinking about my own lunch, so I would also say this. I still have to, I'd still have had to cook as exhausted and sick as I am. You just wouldn't have seen it. I don't have a coffee machine here to survive on either. Is it so hard for you to cook even on days like this? You're right, sorry. Oh, so do we teach him how to cook? Did you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. Tickets to go. Okay, so do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives you more shifts, she's a teacher, right? Or my boss changes his mind. It's going to be tough to stay in Canada. Okay, so have they immigrated from Canada and they want to go back or they can't afford to stay. You know, there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. Does she hate that? And there's nothing really keeping us here. That'd be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh, no, I'm sure I need some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. 
It's a bug that's been staying with her for a while. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. <laughs> oh, God. I, for, some, for some reason, I thought this was going to be about, like, cooking lessons. Like, someone showing me how to cook. But it's not like that at all, actually. Is that a mask? Getting the, uh, getting the hair ready for that GP. The finishing touches. The bling, of course. A few more snacks for the road. Do, 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 do. Velba, are you home? What did the doctor say? Oh, is it fast avoided time? Oh, she looks great. So the boss didn't even consider it. Oh, what? Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. Okay, so they would like to stay in Canada, but the financial situation and how the, the costs of staying here are making it more difficult, and it seems like going back is more viable. What? What's, what's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. She pregnant? Well, I think you should eat first. Okay, if you go to the doctor and then you come back grinning, it's probably not going to be bad news. And what good news can a doctor give you other than bebe? It leaves again. <laughs> the slap. Wait, is he complaining? Is he going, oh, not this again? Or is he excited to have them again? What's going on in tea today? That is one of the cutest reveals of anything ever. So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. Is that Would that be more of a reason to stay or more of a reason to go back to somewhere where it's a bit more financially... I don't know. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though and we're barely scraping by as it is. Oh, he's stressed now that there's a baby. We can't provide everything other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Oh. You know what? I, I, di I definitely did not grow up with with any money. I, like, we didn't grow up with money um, at all. And it's never, ever something I resented my family for, or resented my parents for. Like, I don't... Maybe that... Maybe... I guess everyone's different, but I would never, I would never resent my parents for their lack of mo for their lack of money. I don't think I would ever be resentful for anyone's finances anyway, because I'm not really a materialistic person. But, but I I would find it odd if a child blamed their parents for not having money because it's not their fault. It's not like it's not like you can just. It's not like you choose what you earn. A lot a lot of the time, it's not you don't just choose what you're earning. So why would I would be sad to know that there are children out there resenting their parents for their own income? Because that to me shows like a lack of understanding. Or just like an immaturity, I guess. Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. Ah, <sighs> but then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. Ah, oh, it's hard, it is hard. What do you think, Venba? Oh, so my my Greek grandfather, he traveled from Cyprus to the UK on a boat, on a boat. I think it took a long time um, to start a life over here. And um, it's so funny sometimes thinking of it in that way um, there, there were times when, when he was alive where all of the family would be having dinner at the table and he'd had a couple of brandies or something and he would kind of mutter to himself. He said, he would always say, I made this. 
I I made this family because he I mean he's absolutely right he was the one that came here got married you know like ended up having four children and then they all had children and then like everyone that was there at that table it was so it was actually quite sweet to see him like have that like sit back moment and can be like I made this I built this I built this family um yeah it's really sweet but I, I don't know I, I I wonder if my if my dad or his brothers ever resented them from leaving Cyprus I don't assume they do I think they're happy and they always were to live here but it just depends it's true some people would like you know maybe they would feel more connected to their culture back uh, you know back where their family were originally from rather than wanting to be in a different place and then some wouldn't you just can't call this stuff I think this is all sorry I'm just my brain's going but like before you have a child I'm assuming this is probably all the thoughts that run through your mind like how do we do it right how do we have a baby right and how do we do it correctly and there is no right or wrong answer with many of these things and you can never never th get it right you just got to try your best and do what you think is best at the time I suppose why aren't you saying anything I guess she doesn't care she's just happy I don't know it's funny to see you worry like this are you not worried I don't know, I feel very calm for some reason. I guess, I guess that, you know, the most important thing is not all of those things. It's just about the fact that they're about to just bring a new life into the world. And that should be the most important part. And that should be the, I mean, everything else I, you know, may just fall into place. So that makes one of us. Pavelan, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? Ah, That's so lovely. Please let me cook more. I'm desperate to cook some more. Please. Being outshone by one's children is a universally desired form. Is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. Wow. I've never heard that one before. Anything similar? I love that snowman picture. So is that... Okay, there, hang on. There was a few photos on the wall of child having grown up a little bit. My name is Pavelan, sir. Pavelan, sir. Kevin! Kevin? Where did you run off to? Toddler? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir? I don't have time to play, Kevin. Gavin? Red Dead. I have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. I've managed transport of 100 units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? Kevin, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. Ah, youth. Take that off and let's get you dressed. No, I like it. That job was in India, sir, but... Kevin, wait there, don't run. <laughs> Yeet! Kevin, come back here. This has become a routine now. Oh, that grimace. Oh, he's trying his best to get a new job then. Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. Ay, yo, that towel is so dirty. Here, wear this shirt, can I? No! But sir, you can just take me on probation period, maybe. I'm driven, self-started, and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, kind of. Hurry up now. But I don't want to. Speak into meal, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, kind of. I understand, sir. Yes, good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. Is that a no? Is that a no? Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. They, they didn't buy the hundreds of... Oh, it's, a, it's not true? They didn't buy the hundreds of units in the inventory story? I'm telling you it's time for it to go. 
it's time for it to go. What? What it? I'm gonna do the top one. That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12. <laughs> and you were paid in candy. Sounds like a good haul to me. Ah, oh, well, I've only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. Not with my English. I spent half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people too. Oh, this is heartbreaking. This is heartbreaking. And so, um, so human, and I'm sure what a lot of families go through as well. Yay! We can watch Batman together, Appa. Yes, but your son is going to forget to mill at this rate. <laughs> Did you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speaking to Milda. Well, what's wrong with that? Oh, so does the color box change according to whether, when he's speaking English and, and then not? Names tell stories. Oh, I like that response. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name after all. Who else is going to tell them? And Kevin means beautiful. Oh, does it? It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. I want, I just want to be Kevin. Oh no, he wants more of the Canadian name to fit in maybe. He's brighter than us, Venba. He's learned to adapt, we haven't. You know, he aced yesterday's English quiz. He did? Really? Good job. We should, cele we should celebrate. What do you want to eat? Cooking. I'll make something special. Can we order? Pizza? No. No. Speaking to me, old Kevin. I want pizza. How about something? How about we we make something at home? Let's let's make it seem like an adventure. Let's cook something here together. Not not like argue that it's better. Because I feel like everyone loves pizza so much that it's hard to argue against pizza. Although I will say, and I will still say it over and over again, I'm a burger person through and through, not so much a pizza person. How about something at home? Like parotta? Dosa? Idiapam? Idiapam? Ghee dosa? Biryani? Curry dosa? No, I'm tired of all these. Tired of them? How can we be tired of them? Oh, food! In the West is so freaking repetitive. All of these things sound so exciting. I said I want pizza. <sighs> Extra cheese. Extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time. Kevin. Have you ever had putu? No. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. Rocket? Okay, we're appealing to his interests. Yeah, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks just like a rocket launching. It does? Yeah. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. Reverse psychology. Will it work? There's no rocket, but it'll get a nice cardboard box. Will it really look like a rocket launch? Do you want to see? Love this. I love this. You have to make children think it is their idea. Okay, look at him. He's so, he's so happy. There's a little... um. Oh, damn it. It's right behind my camera. Sorry. You can't really see it, but there is a um, a, a dinosaur on the fridge that's somewhat that he's drawn I think and a little family photo that's a little sketch of a family I haven't made this before but Alma has a recipe on it hopefully it's readable it's never readable there's always like a splodge on it which means we miss part of the recipe where's the rocket just give me patience please we need to make the flour first make the flour from scratch <laughs> 
Oh my god, I love this. I love this so. Oh, you bl rice flour. 500 grams of rice, blend it, then sift, sift it. Oh my god. Then whatever the hell this says. Okay, let's let's just do one at a time. When do we get to the rocket part? Soon. Be patient. Soaked rice in the blender. Blend. Rice to the sieve first. I should shake the sieve over the towel to catch everything. Okay, so put this. Oh! Shaky, 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 shaky. Okay, amazing. Oh, crap. Combine. Oh, I think separate. I think that was the step. It looks like it says sift chunks over the towel. Okay. I'm just going to guess and put the water on it. Recipe says adding flour to the rice is the final step. Do you think this is right? No. This is way too runny. We must have added less than 500 grams of rice. We need to find a way of using all of it. Okay, that is 500 grams. Blend. Okay, bing, bing. Shaky, shaky, shaky. And then the chunks. Can I put them in here? Or we'll put them back in the blender? And blend again? No wastage. Love it, love it. Okay. Chunks in the blender again. Last few. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Amazing. This is so much fun. Okay, let down. Add the water in. Is it too little? Combine 500 grams of fine rice with water. Am I supposed to be squidging it? Oh, I think this is perfect. Oh, it is? Why does this feel like flour even though there was so much water? Because it soaks up? The final consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. Okay, what do we do with it now though? All right, that wasn't too hard. Correct, was it? When we get to the rocket, all he cares about is the rocket part. I think, did I care about, what did I care about when I was younger? I think I, I'm just gonna turn the um, music, music down like ever so slightly. I think I loved cooking when I was younger. My um, my mum and I used to make what we called bread hogs, which was a hedgehog made of bread. Bread hog. So you would just get bread dough. We'd make bread dough pretty easy. You know, just the flour, the water, the yeast, etc. And then you just have a, a bowl of dough. If anyone has children, this is a great idea for the kids. Um, and then get scissors and just snip the top little snip little spikes on the top of the dough add two raisins for eyes and make the end of the dough like a little nose bake them bread hogs amazing and then they come out of the oven have them with some butter you feel like you've made a little hedgehog it was amazing i loved it oh vibration yes put it just down there that's it 
So, who was maintaining this book? Flower, coconut. Okay, water needs to go in the bottom. Put coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. So coconut, I'm guessing, is the orange. And then the... So three tablespoons of coconut flour. Four of flour flour. Or is it just... Is it... Des what's it call it? Des decimated? Desecrate? Desecrate? Desi... What do you... What the hell do you call it? Des desecrated? <laughs> I don't think it's desecrated. Decimated coconut. Anyway, it's all right. Let's put the water in. Water. Water in the bottom. Put it on top. Not yet. Okay. I think that that is coconut. Oh, it is coconut flour. One. Two. Wait, this is wrong. Take it back, take it back. Can I bin? Oh, God. Can I not take it out? Okay, restart, restart, restart. Restart. Water. Then this. I think it's not for each time. It's just, it's just indicating do it three times. So, coconut, flour, flour, coconut, flour, flour, coconut. Coconut. Flour. Flour. Coconut. Flour. Flour. Coconut. Lid. On the hob. On. It's launch time, Kevin. Oh, that actually looks unreal. How do you eat that? Is it solid? Or would it be still powdery? Is it? I'm so, I, I'm so confused as to how you eat that. That was so cool. Denver, I can't believe it didn't fall. It's like Jenga. Can we do that again? Oh, he was inspired and he loved it. Oh, so it does stay intact. I guess the steam would be the moisture that holds it together and like binds it together. We are unable to offer you a secondary teacher position. Oh my God. I really wish life, I know it sounds like such a blanket statement, but I really wish life was fair, fairer, you know, especially the people that just deserve it, deserve a break, deserve a chance, deserve an opportunity, you know, is he asleep? I think so. Kevin. Yeah, he is. Good. So that interview, another dead end? Yes. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. The work experience thing is insane. Obviously, I'm speaking from a completely different place and, and such a place of privilege from the, than this particular situation. But I remember going for work experience even when I was in high school or when I was trying to look for my first job out of school. Everything would say, you have no experience. So therefore, you know, no. But it doesn't make sense because you cannot physically get experience unless someone gives you a shot. So you can't you can't ever get experience unless someone gives you the experience to then get a job that requires experience. It's so counterintuitive. So it, it just takes that one person going, okay, I know you don't have experience, but I'm going to give you experience and then... But, but who's that going to be? It, it, you know what I mean? We'll keep, an, we'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. 
What? I know you don't like Suresh, but I think you should take that sales job at his company. Oh, it's like a pity handout job from someone he knows. It's all about who you know here. We really are at the end of our rope. I don't want it to be about who you know because I feel like, I don't know, that's not gonna appeal to his, I don't know, I feel like I would have an ego at this point. Especially if it was if I, if we were at rock bottom, maybe it's just helpful to remind him that you know we're in a bad situation. We're behind on rent again. We haven't sent money home in a while. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over, but even here we still have to beg people like Suresh. It's not begging. I know. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold Kevin on the pudding today. <laughs> you're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Like, really, they're not getting on with her or respecting her. Well, it's not like teaching back home. Mm. Makes me worry about Kevin. Kevin. Is it like Kevin? 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 Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up, get them in the mood to learn, you know? It's harder here. What does that have to do with Kevin? I just feel like there's a wall between me and my class. I can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. Definitely, very different experience. And I feel that same wall growing around Kevin. God, you know, I never thought about that actually. And I guess bringing up you know, being immigrant parents and bringing up a child in a very different culture than you were used to and seeing them, um, w I mean, whatever, prefer or thrive or just adopt the same ideologies and interests and culture of the place that they're growing up in, which is so far removed from what you experienced and feeling maybe even that like a disconnect in that way with your child for that reason. In a, you know, in a small way. What if I can't connect with Kevin? Yeah. I didn't think about that. It's so hard to even talk to him. It just feels like he's growing further away from us. The other day he told me he'd wished he had his own room like his friends. Oh, it's hard to explain to a child what's possible and what's not possible. He said he needs his privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? <laughs> me. I... I I'm sure I did. Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. Well, it's more than just that. He doesn't eat lunch at school. He's not interested in anything we do. He's not interested in anything we do. I thought I could at least get him to listen to music or watch some movies from back home. Ah. Oh. Also, there's such like, um, an association with whatever your parents are showing you as uncool like uh, you know culture aside what your parents want you to do and what your parents think is cool you immediately think is uncool but like, w even like i guess the example before of making him think that that was his idea um to like enjoy cooking the the food so it's like it's not even to do with the fact that it's back home. I think anything that your parents are like, oh, you're going to love this. You should love this. If they don't, it's often because the parents are telling them to like it. And it's just like this kind of natural rebellion. But I'd rather watch Home Alone. But he'd rather watch Home Alone for the hundredth time. It's not even that good. I mean, it's okay, but yeah. These things bother me too. But we chose to bring him up here, not him. We did it because we thought we'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities. But it also comes with its own culture, language, values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore from the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Yes, totally. Yes, maybe. It's just scary. Don't worry, Vember, he'll turn out just fine. Like he's a cake baking. This is um, this is exactly what she said to him at the beginning. 
he was like it's you know she was like it's funny seeing you this stressed he's gonna be everything will turn out okay and he was like that makes one of us and then now it's the the they've, sw they've switched roles kind of he's our child oh he uses the same line back to her how's will he turn out oh that's so lovely I love I, I really I wasn't expecting this to be as emotional as it was I thought it was gonna be all about cooking and it's like an element but it's it's about much bigger things those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect. Those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect, like hair, something about hair from a head. Hang on. What was, I didn't, that's so quick. Go on, tell her, is this grandma? His name is Pavelan, he's my dad. P-A-A-V-A-L-A-N. She says Apera is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know what time my dad left the office? Oh my God. My heart just dropped. Interesting that that speech bubble got covered in like water or like rain. Okay, well does she at least know if he came in today? Did you see my dad today? Ask her if she so is he on the phone because he speaks better uh, English maybe at that at that point? I know my dad being the eldest of four boys and um, my grandparents predominantly speaking Greek. My dad had to be the one for a lot of like admin, um, just yeah, just admin stuff around the house growing up. He always said that he was the one that was writing the letters, doing the emails, doing the phone calls. Um, ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. Maybe we can call them. Does he usually go home with someone? She says, no, dad usually leaves alone and he's very quiet. She says all the sales staff left at 5 p.m. today. She says he must have left then too. Okay, thank you. Oh my God, I'm so worried. Did he have an accident or is he? Are they walking? Why are we walking through the park, Amma? Do you think Apple will be here? I don't know, Kana. Sometimes Yapa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. I am so worried. But it, I, it feels really dark for him to like die right now. Maybe he's just taking a break and having like, I think. If he decides to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the lady said up, I left at five. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went somewhere else first? But where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kevin, enough with your questions. She's taking it out on him because she's worried. Sorry, Kana, I'm just worried about Appa. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, no, I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But only if you can ask it in Tamil. Okay. Oh, okay, I can do that. Um. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I can do that in Tamil. Why did that lady say Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. See, you can speak to me when you want to. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's that they don't talk to him. What do you mean? Ah, oh, nothing. He just doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? Oh, yes. He loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something bothers him. Back home, that used to be every day. Okay. When we say writing, I'm thinking, are we thinking like poetry or like articles or novels? Like, what is it uh, that he's writing? Maybe we should bug him more. <laughs> I'm really worried something's going to happen to the dad. Oh my God. 
How did you meet? What did you do back home? I want to know how they met, actually. Huh. You know, I'm named after a type of poem, right? Venba? Yes, Appa told me. A Venba is a kind of like, it's kind of like a haiku. Okay. The private school where I was teaching was treating, oh, she was treating a private school back home. Was treating both staff and students terribly. No proper equipment or rooms and horrible pay. So we organized a protest. We had signs and boards and dozens of people. One day, we were told a reporter wanted to interview us. We thought this was a big break. But he was the shabbiest person I've ever seen. He looked like he'd just woken up. <laughs> That's me with my fucking hair scraped back today. Was it Appa? Yes. <laughs> Still, I answered all his questions and hoped for the best. A week later, we all read an article that came out in the magazine. But it wasn't an article. It was a poem. It was a Venba. A gorgeous one too. <sighs> That's so sweet. It was about the school, the students, our protest, and it was about me. Somehow people could ignore our protest, but they couldn't ignore the poem. It received a lot of attention, and as a result, so did our protest. Is this a true story? I wonder if this is true. The school was forced to change, and I was smitten. God, not just a poem, but a poem for change, a poem that made a difference, a poem that was in a way activism. That, of course, that would get her attention. Do you think you'll ever go back? Where? India. Oh, I'd love to, but maybe not for now. We had a wonderful life there, I do miss it. We didn't have you. And you are our life now. Oh my God, this is gonna make me cry. <sighs> I think it'll be good for you if we stay here a bit longer. We can all go back once you're old enough. Where is he? I'm stressed. Oh my God. Ama, I see Appa. Please tell me he's just walking home. Maybe his car broke down. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is it? or something and killed was he punched in the street like attack or was he mugged was he just having a cigarette on the bench did he fall what happened Oh my god, I just, I've got so many questions. Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's honor. Dishonor on you, dishonor on your cow. Oh my god. Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions too. Are we not gonna, are we not gonna know what happened? Oh, he's got the same glasses, he's just tied them up. I've got so many things running through my mind. Did, did he get like hit by a car? Did someone mug him? Was it like a hate crime? Did he trip? I mean, it could be so. It could be so many things. The fridge is uh, all different. There used to be loads of like um, kids stuff on the fridge. That's gone. Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions too. 
I think you should have everything you need. Yes, thanks, Pa. Pa is confusing me because Pa, I guess for me, would mean like Papa. I'll go help Kevin pack. Uni? Okay, we're cooking again. Ooh. Okay, this looks good. Onions. Uh, chilies. Biryani gravy. Just gravy. Okay, well this, this is not giving me a lot of information. Ah, yes. Step one, something, something. Step two, something, something. Step three, something, something. Step four, blah, 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 blah. Okay, this recipe is completely <laughs> Layered biryani is really fancy. I've never made it that way before. But I've seen Amma make it the night before we left India. Okay, maybe I can try remembering them. Okay. Remember, add all these first. What is that? That looks like uh, leaves, like bay leaves. Seeds or something? Cloves? They're expensive. It's okay, it's a big thing to leave another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. Okay, so it's like a pricey recipe. All the stuff required to cook it is expensive. So those go in. Those go in. And those go in. Okay, was that everything? Yes. Oh my gosh, I love the music so much. There's a logic to the order you add these four ingredients in. You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but the ingredient you add first will always fry more, more in the oil than the one you add next. Okay, so whichever one you want to cook the longest, you put first. Okay. So, onions first, tomatoes last. Oh, shit. Sorry for my language. All right. One, two, three. What do we cook? What do we cook uh, last? What does this one say? The beef. Now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. That order is important. Then add the water and let it reduce. So it's these first. Masala, turmeric, chili powder. Shit. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, and this. Oh, I forgot about that one. Oh my gosh, I hope... I wonder if this soundtrack is like an original soundtrack because I want to listen to it like again. Sorry. Then if we do the onion? Right. So it was just because I was missing this section up here. Then the chilies. Then this. Okay, everything's looking good. Oh, sugar nuts. Salt. Then these spices. Oh my. Oh good, okay. Is this guac? The paste? Okay, one, two, three. Then this. Why would you add water now? Should I just test it? <laughs> the 
The beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. So let's do powders and salt. Then we add water and let it reduce. No. salt now salt then powders before that stuff what it was letting me okay 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 what is this the garlic paste now okay then this then this then this. Water last. This, the chili powder after that? All right, fine, hit me. Hit me up. Hmm, this is hard. Oh wait, no, I actually want the hint. Yes, onions first, then the chilies. Yeah, oh. So it's, it's stop doing this. I'm thinking that, I'm thinking of, of the onion, the chili and the tomatoes is like one section. Chilies, ginger, garlic. Then that. Then this. So. Then the tomatoes. Okay, I did kind of get that right. I just didn't realize the paste had to come in. You went such a lot of trouble to do the recipe book. I'm sorry I couldn't take better care of it. Oh, But I'm fixing these now and I hope Kevin will appreciate it when he cooks these. Oh, it's, it's to give him before he goes the recipe book. Salt. Then these. Then this. Delicious. Then the water. Oh, or oh, the way it just kind of rizzed. Uh, I said, I meant to say rose, but I said rizzed. It's very late. Okay, that's why. It's my excuse. This smells divine. I think we just need to let it simmer for thirty minutes so we can start the layering. Layering. What do you mean layering? Gravy is done. What quantifies as a gravy? Or a sauce, you know? What's the difference between a gravy and a sauce? I hope I can finish it before Kevin leaves. Oh my gosh, the time pressure. Oh, it's changed color because it's been simmering. Delicious. Okay, 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 we've got the rice. Oh, I accidentally, okay. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal it tightly, and let it simmer together. Oh, is that cashew nuts? The one, two, three might refer to the different layers of gravy, rice, and the other things. But in what order? Maybe I can try to remember. Okay. One, two, three. So these are the different layers. Something in the bottom. Two features twice. One features twice. And three is the end. I'm guessing the herbs is the end. Ah, I see. We add all of these together on top of the rice layer. And that's the final layer. Yes. What's wrong, Emma? Oh, why are you crying? You know we'll visit often, and once things are better, we'll come back here. This is our home. Where else will we go? I know, Connor. It's just so far away. Oh, okay. So the rice... Layering on top of the rice, she said. Okay, so, so number one is rice. 
So it's gotta come twice. Um, fried onions. Cilantro. Ghee. Mint. Saffron milk. Oh, that looks amazing. What's this? Just a bowl? Okay. And then... Oh, nuts. Then rice again. Oh my god. I'm... What is number three? What is the layer three? I'm just putting everything in. Oh! Oh, whoops! Okay, I've got an idea. Go back. Rice. Ghee. Rice. Ghee again. Oh, you can't do that twice. So what's the thing in the middle? It must be onions then. Okay, sorry. Rice. Onions. Are all of these one use only? You can't use it twice. It uses, it, everything gets used. Okay, let me just read it one more time. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, maybe they're not in relation. Maybe they are not layers. Maybe they are stages. Let's read it again. We just add all of these together on top of the rice layer. And that's the final layer. Yes. What's wrong, Amma? Oh, Amma, why are you crying? Okay. Rice. milk. I feel like nuts would go on top. This is wrong. This is so, so incorrect. I'm just making stuff up now. <laughs> is it supposed to be trial and error? What's wrong about? Okay, let's just get a hint. God, I didn't realize I'd be using three hints in this game. This is not exactly Dark Souls three. Why am I getting so types of biryanis? Oh, biryanis are so fun to make and convince in different ways. Yep. Every state in India has its own biryani. I did not know that. How many states are there? And they all swear it's the best. Hyderabad, Hyderabad. Hyderabadi. And I'm making it today. Hyderabadi, okay. I do need it in. I do. I thought that maybe a different, like, I thought them telling me the types of biryani was going to help me. I should scoop out a layer of beef. What? Never in my life. How would I know that? Then add one layer of rice. Then I should add the scooped out beef. Right. So. That, that is the last thing that I would have done. Right. I see. looks good but is this wrong lid have i not okay rice how many layers of rice are there 
Oh, okay, I understand. Sorry. Got it. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm just hungry now. Yes, yes. Lid on. Let it simmer. Keep the flame low and the rice will fully absorb all the moisture. Okay. So it becomes like one big dish. Oh, okay. I have to order an Indian tomorrow. Um, I am terrible, guys, with spice. I wish so much that I could handle spice. I just can't. I wonder it's because, like, Mediterranean food with my family growing up, there's not really much spice in Greek food at all. It's a lot of, like, fish, salad, meat, salad, olives, fish, meat, potatoes. You're not going to find much chili in Greek in Greek stuff cheese feta all that stuff so now when i have hot food it's such a shock to my system because i just never i've just never had it um and never did and i've tried to train myself to have a bit more spice but it just doesn't it just doesn't work for me it messes up my stomach i can't handle even this like the mildest of things but i love indian food so much but i have to stick to like the korma tikka type um kind of spectrums of spice but i found this indian restaurant in my old house in my old place that did a tikka korma where the chicken itself had been marinated in tikka so the chicken was red like the chicken on the outside was red been it had been marinated in this like tikka sauce so the, the chicken itself tasted of tikka but the sauce that it came with was the korma sauce so you literally got like the best of both of my favorite flavors and I know both of them seem really mild and I know you're gonna be like, oh my God, but it was delicious. That with a peshwari naan. Peshwari is my favorite. And, or a roti, I love a roti. Roti is also amazing, underrated, I feel. I'm trying to think of what other, what other things I love. A lot of people love. Um, with a poppadom, with mango chutneys. The spinach and cheese thing. Is that called sag paneer? Love that. I'm trying to think of all my favorite Indian foods now. Okay, well now I'm hungry. I mean, I'm now even more hungry than I was before. Should be good now. Oh, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. The music of that. She's like, I'm proud, bitch. Please, please tell me he likes it. What if he says no? Oh, it's so interesting. So seeing dad eating with his hands, as he, as I guess, as, as you would, and then Kevin with the cutlery. I don't know, isn't that maybe like a little, that shows a little bit of a culture difference there already. He, he must be going to uni. Oh, so good. Beef really is the best. Oh, she elbowed him. Oh. It's really good, Amma. I'm glad. I won't get too many chances to cook for you like this again. Oh, Amma. Stop being so dramatic. It's weird. Some of his um some of his dialogue options have got like this kind of water droplet effect on his speech bubble. Is that because he speak is that when is that to indicate when he's speaking English versus Tamil? I'm trying to work out if it's that or whether it's to do with the mood thing. I'm just moving out for university. I knew it. Yes, Kana, but we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive. We might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Oh my God, my heart. My heart is breaking right now. This way you and Appa won't have to drive all day. Yeah, but they want to. They want to. Let them. We wanted to see the university. Oh, we were looking forward to the drive. I was looking forward to the drive. 
We could all spend some time together before you s we send you off. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. Last chance for us to annoy you with unsolicited advice. Oh, Amma, that would be nice. But I think it's just easier this way. <sighs> you can always annoy me another time. Okay, kind of sure. Did I even get any pick any did I even get any of the meat pieces? Maybe we can drive the next week, drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friends carve enough space for some containers? I don't know. Why? I packed a lot more of the biryani. I also packed some podies, pickles, and sweets. Did she give you all the did you <laughs> this like separation conversation before we send our son off to university and all he cares about is whether you got meat pieces in the biryani I'm like, i can't take all that in the car oh my god i feel awful like i actually feel awful reading it because there's been so many times my grandma has tried to like f like stuff the car with food that i can't take uh, i can't take with me or i know i'm not going to eat it and she just wants to give me stuff and i've been like i can't bring that with me bags and bags of food she tries to give me before I leave the house and I just I literally like I, I don't have the space for it in the house I know it's going to go off by the time I'm going to get around to eating it um you know and I, I would rather not take take the food and waste it so oh I feel I feel bad why not I pack for your friends too you can all eat <sighs> Amma they don't want your biryani stop and the whole car will smell. I don't want them in my dorm either. You don't want any of it? Oh my god, I'm actually... Stop, please. I actually... Kevin, I put a lot of effort into making all of it this week. I didn't ask you to. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask. But what will you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. I can't believe she gave him all the pieces. Can you just back us up here? It's not just about the meat pieces. We can have biryani at home anytime. Our son's about to leave. I'm just eating kuska here. It's not healthy, Kevin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. I'm just trying to be helpful. Oh my god, he flinched when she tried to hug him. She flinched. Well, you're not. Why don't you take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I said no, Amma. I'm done with this. This is a fresh start for me. <gasps> I don't want to smell like little India anymore. No, did he get called names at school? Because it's in quotation marks. Oh, sorry, my camera's behind it, but it's in quotation marks, the name little India. I just want to be normal for once. The language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear. Only you should decide that, Kevin. Oh, it's true. But it is also so hard. You don't have to change who you are for us. But just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. 100%. There's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's a part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be a part of it. Just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? Oh my god, dude. We should have just stayed in India. Wow. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. It's just... There's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're gonna see... It's not like you're never gonna see me again. I'll visit often, okay? Okay. And I'll call every week, too. Me at university. I think I said I would do that as well. And then when you go, you're so wrapped up in, like, becoming who you are when you're studying and when you go to university or when you're... when you move out. That be your priority becomes, I guess, growing up yourself. That you don't always make the time that you should. So please try not to worry. Okay. Oh. 
Is that them? Yes, I think so. Who's that girl? I've never seen her before. Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. Oh, it's a girl? Chip off the old block. I feel- I literally have like a- a- like a hole in the pit of my stomach that she was, you know, slaving away at the kitchen- in the kitchen making all these lovely meals for him and that he couldn't even just say, sure, I'll take it, even if he didn't eat it, or I don't know, anything, just just not even taking it and going, I don't want it. And that food is just in the house right now, sitting there, untaken. <sighs> My cancerian heart, I can't handle it. I suppose it's good that he's so independent, and makes his own choices, even if they are so incorrect. Our choices were mostly made for us already. That is true. It's a very, very different culture too. You get told what to do in a lot of generational ways in certain cultures. And then especially if they were second generation here in Canada, it would be weird to see those decisions not being made for your child and they, them having to make their decision for themselves. Whatever he chooses, at least it will be his own decision. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like old times. I really hope that one of the last recipes we do is with him, like he cooks it. We're unable to offer you a secondary teacher position again at this time, stop. This is so sad. The whole game is so sad. My cat is here right now, hello baby. Did Kevin reach the university? Did he text or call yet? No. But we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yes. Well, maybe he hasn't got... Oh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. This is... Bun, your tail is in the way of the camera. Sorry about this. She's standing right over the desk. This is relatable. And I feel awful. It's giving me my youth perspective so badly. I always be like, yeah, I'll message you when I get there. And then I just forget. Ah, oh, well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Oh, sure. Let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Yeah, you're right. Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week. Maybe we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course. Of course not, Pavlan. We should help if we can. He uses his headphones all the time. It'll be... <laughs> oh, it's like... I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And then it's like, oh, we need to give him his headphones. He loves his headphones. What? Oh, you made that up. Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin? Oh, That's what being a parent is, I suppose. When Kevin said he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the works that inspired me and all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones you wrote too. All the stories you read to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot. Improv? Slam poetry? Yes, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't know if he can read Tamil literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park... Oh, did we get to finally work out what happened? Maybe he's thinking it's better to not be unique or stand out in any way. So it was a hate crime. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Kevin to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe you should have stayed. If you're gonna suggest, I would have been better off not moving here with you. 
Hi, bum. You're scratching your face on the microphone. My anger is going to be anything but fleeting. <laughs> but come on. I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? If I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yeah, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Kevin. And I have you. Home is where you two are. <gasps> My heart can't take this today. I feel like this is the last chapter. I feel it in my bones. Longing for bun. Bun, this is not a scratching post, is it, baby? No. Do you want to say hi? Oh my gosh. Oh, she just stepped on a plate. Do you hear that? She's stepping on my plate. Oh no. Is he I want. Okay, this is what I want. This is what I tell you I'm going to want. I want him to come, come home and then be like, sorry or something or just say that he wants to cook and then he cooks something we got a text love island is he coming round Oh, I feel emotional because she's. I feel like she's cooking for him when he comes round. Oh wow! I'll go finish it. Oh, I've got to keep going round, like uh, faster. Gotcha. Oh, these look delicious. Are they gonna get deep fried? Am I burning them? Last one. Oh, they look good. Are they sweet or savory? Crispy. This is such a unique game. I love this kind of like, this quick one, you know, it's like, do things on the list, because he's coming home. What are these ones? I wonder what these are, what names? Oh, little sprinkles on each one. Oh, is this like a batter? You know what? It's quite a lot of oil. It's quite a lot of uh, frying and oil, isn't it? My po I, my waistline. My waistline. Do -do 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 -do. Ba -la -bum -bum, ba -la -bum. Okay. When are they done? How do I know when they're done? Oh. This one? Ooh, flipping them. They look so crispy. Is that a tortilla or a plate on the side? I wish I knew what they were. I wish I knew what they were. My lovely editor, Raj, who is probably watching this right now, is Indian, so Raj, you better text me and tell me what all this stuff is, okay? Um, slice? The head off? Ooh, is scoring it. 
Seasoning? Lemon juice? Seasoning. Oh, it went bright red. More oil? More oil. Flip. Oh, delicious. What what fish is the the flatfish like that? It's got a name, the flatfish. It's a very quick flash fry. I guess when it's the meat is thin, it cooks really quickly. What was that paste? Three more things. Three more things. Um, what is that? Ghee? Oh, butter? Paste? Peppercorns? Cloves? Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Chili? What is this? SG. SG. I wish I knew what that was. Bay leaves, maybe? Is that, is that the biryani again? Ba -la -bum -bum -ba -la -bum. What was that? What was that? What was, she, oh. what was she doing on that thing? Did I take that off? Oh. Lid off? Oh. Is this... Flowers? Plus. I kind of love that this one isn't a puzzle, it's just a follow the guide. It's, a, it's even more satisfying actually. I wonder what this is. It could be parsley. Could be mint. Rosemary. I don't know. I'm trying to think of ones that's got little, little stalks. One left. Oh, those chicken legs. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't even want to tell you what time it is right now because I often record crazy hours in the at night, but it's basically too late for me to order dinner. Let's just say that. Oh, I'm so hungry. Although with the chili, I think it does look quite spicy. All quick taste, quick test before it comes around. Oh my god, do not tell me he doesn't show up. No. No way. No way. What does the text say? I'll cook your favorite mutton. Oh, is that what the legs were? Hi, Amma, thank you so much. Sure, Amma, I've got a lot of plans today, but I think I can stop by for a bit later tonight. Sorry, Amma, something came up last minute and I can't make it tonight. I'm actually heartbroken. Where's Pavlan? Will he eat some? 
don't. I will. Oh. God, I actually, my heart, my heart. The washing up, all the dishes. to inform you that your application for secondary teacher has been oh it's been accepted why did why why didn't he come to bed without one's dignity one becomes a puppet to many strings where's the husband where's Pamela is he the teacher Yo, that's hype. That's exactly the vibe I was looking for. Great, but just so you know, that's not usually hung inside the house. My dad just liked to hang it inside. Yeah, that's fine. Just need something unique and interesting here. Oh, he's not the teacher. Okay. Who's Chris? By the way, for the school lunch scene, I was thinking it'd be cool if it was like a super diverse table of kids and they all shared food from their different cultures. What do you think Priya's lunch should be? Chicken tikka, question mark, spicy vindaloo, maybe. Be more stereotypical, why don't you? So is he giving this like family mask to a colleague for the sake of like a play? Well, Priya is Tamil, so probably none of those. Good response. Yeah. What if we show her eating nothing? <laughs> yeah. Like, I would bring back my lunch a lot. Lol. Yeah. I was too embarrassed to eat it at school. At least he's being honest about it. Yeah. Maybe we can touch up. Maybe we can touch. Maybe we can touch up. Maybe we can touch upon that. Oh. That might not fit the tone of the show. It's just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures and cuisines that really represents Toronto. You must have your favorite dish your mum made you or something, right? It just feels weird for me to write a scene where she isn't even a bit apprehensive about the lunch. I was terrified to even open the lid. I get we're celebrating it, but a scene like this would make me feel like I was worried about nothing when I wasn't. Oh, and then he deletes it all. This is such a human game. You know, nothing about it is like predictable or generic. It, it really does show like the realism of these feelings. Yeah, I'll check my bundles. Okay, so we're gonna cook. I, I wondered if he would cook at the end. Okay, if I have to give them a recipe, the least I can do is ensure it's authentic. I can't believe Amma didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India, though. She's gone back. Wait a second, so he wasn't in the bed. Did Dad die? She was the only one that went back to India? Well, it looks like she's fixed a lot of these recipes. I can't read Tamil very well, but let's see. Oh, Idlis. This is Putu. Oh, he doesn't remember. He was five. Oh, he does. I remember making this with Amma and Papa. This was fun. This is biryani, of course. Papa's favorite. Natu cozy kul kulambu. That's like chicken soup, I think. She made this for me once when I was really ill. This is the only thing I could eat without throwing up. I must have been around five then. I still remember the taste, the smell, and the day she made it. 
I, I hope that this is also showing that while we may not appreciate it, being second generation, um, I mean, I mean, what, do, what does that mean? Does that make me like third generation Greek? Because my grandparents came here, had my dad, then my dad had me. So I still have, I'm still half Greek and I have all the Greek family here, but I'm third gen. But I grew up with all of these things that again, I was kind of like, just not as inter. I guess I wasn't really thinking about what impact those things have. I was always, I will say I was always really proud to be Greek though. I loved, I loved that um, I had, you know, this big, crazy, vibrant family with food that I loved. And I felt like, I felt like when I, when I was younger, I probably felt like it made me interesting as well, rather than being ashamed of it. I was like, oh, maybe it's cool. I think I viewed it that way but again not everybody does and it also de depends also on the on the on the culture itself um so I I hope that it's showing maybe that he remembers more than his parents saw him remember or he absorbed more and has those memories more than he maybe showed at the time you know because right now I'm seeing nostalgia and sentimentality and maybe he has got memories that he loved there was a phone call from India. The cooker was whistling. Amma fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. I wonder what it was. Anyways, if I'm going to feature this recipe in the show, I better cook it once at least. She's drawn cute pictures of the ingredients needed. I'll go pick those up first, then I can start putting it together. I love the, like, scatty way that he's put everything on the table compared to... <laughs> oh the 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 see-through bag oh again my camera is blocking it but yeah like the see-through bag of the tamarind paste oh my gosh okay no translation so tamarind and water in the bowl mix that's what i'm getting from that yep what okay tamarind water mix oh wow it really it did change color and then sieve uh sieve it um and then put the rest now what now what then add more water to that and keep sieving it and then put this here yep okay how many times do we do that again okay because the water is not changing color much. Okay. That's as much as I'm going to get, I think. I'd never thought about that. Putting it into the water, I suppose. Because it's quite a strong flavor, I think, isn't it? On to the next thing. Very, very neat and subtle. Someone that clearly cooks a lot. Gosh. I don't, I wonder if I have ever seen Tamil written down like this. It's beautiful to look at. I have no idea what it says, but it looks like gorgeous. Like it's like calligraphy, the the shapes of the letters and stuff. No diagrams, my Tamil isn't the most fluent. So I'm like, oh God, what am I gonna do? I think I can make out a few of these words. I can't. Oh, toast both of the grains first. Toast. I was just gonna say. Grains. Rasam powder, mustard seed, chilies, cumin. Toast both of the grains first. Maybe it's a bad translation. And it's actually about... Uh, 
I mean, I would... Were both the things I added grains? What else could it be? Okay, not that then. It's The only thing I can think of as grain has been like salt. And then seeds. Okay, what about this? And this. Okay, no, I'm trying something else. Could be mustard seeds and cumin. Okay, seeds. Right, there's a bad translation. I can't count the number of times I've woken up to this sound though. He does remember it in a fond way. How is it already smelling so good? Okay, he translates this part easily. Next, add red leaves and green chilies. Okay, that's definitely a, a mistranslation of chilies and those leaves, right? Yes, I was gonna say. Next step. Minced question mark question mark and crushed ginger garlic. The ginger garlic's here. And then shallots. It's usually around this time Emma has me waving away all the steam from the smoke detector. <laughs> hmm, what gives out water? First add question mark question mark that creates water and then add water itself. Tomato. Yep. Then the water. Yep. Oh, this is fun. I kind of love this. No idea what this says, but only two ingredients left. Uh, I guess it's just salt and the powder. Rassam powder? Did you say Rassam? Amma was upset because... Also, look at the way that they've animated the bubbling. In the middle, it's like a flower underneath. And then on top, the bubbles. Amazing. Of the phone call she got from home. Did her mum die? Oh no, did she lose a parent? I think I remember now. Okay, so he was sick and she was on the phone. I'm sorry, Appa. I'm sorry I'm not there. I know. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you some more money soon. No, no, it's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. Oh, God. Is this chicken? can't read this part either but there's not much to this fried chicken just put everything in and cook it i guess bone in chicken turmeric oh boil turmeric lid and the little weight at the top i've never seen this before it says cook a weight. Oh, so it keeps the lid on when it's bubbling, bubbling, bubbling away. Oh. Okay. Or does it tell you when it's done because it would right, rise up when it's boiling at the right? Or is it to keep the lid on? I can't tell whether it's to keep the lid on or whether it's like a cooking indicator. Black and white is like a memory, right? That's what the black and white is, yeah. Oh, I feel so bad for her. She's come all the way here. She has the baby. The baby doesn't seem to care about some <laughs> stuff anymore. And then she loses. This is her mum. Why she keep going? He's remembering. Maybe he goes back to India, I wonder. I wonder if he goes back. Oh, holy moly, delicious. That's going to fall off the bone, that will. Chicken stock always has a golden color, but the turmeric is making it look extra nice. Turmeric is um, like one of the most, I feel like, potent dyes of food. It's so bright. I remember having a turmeric uh, tea and it made the whole mug 
it made the whole cup like the cardboard cup that it came in yellow the whole thing really really strong dye natural oh man should we even feature this in the show some corporation is going to start selling an overpriced turmeric chicken stock after watching this <laughs> well yeah okay do we add them all together Rasam is usually water, but here it's fresh chicken stock instead. That's really cool. Wow. I wonder how Chris will describe this to the team. An exotic take on chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aromatics. I love that there's a bit of, like, we get a bit of um, stereotyping in there that is addressed in the game in, like, a really kind of, like, quite natural way because it's something that I'm sure, you know, anybody of any culture that has been in, that has taken, that other countries have taken inspiration from or taken cuisine from or whatever will experience all the time. Um, so I put this in here. Oh, delicious. And then top with the leaves. Coriander, oh, coriander, I could eat coriander for the rest of my life. Coriander and parsley, feed, feed. Oh, delicious, delicious. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. Memories flooding back straight away. Where's the rice? Amma. Amma, why are you sad? It's nothing. Oh, she didn't put her pain onto him whilst he was sick. Did I do something wrong? Hmm? Oh, no, kind of not at all. I just heard from home. Your grandmother. Emma loves her a lot. Sometimes people have to leave and go far away. And Emma will just miss her. Why is she leaving? She's feeding him. It's natural, Kevin. Everyone leaves someday. Us too? It'll happen to everyone. It's such a weird thought that I think about that sometimes it's like that we all will and we're all just like we kind of all just forget you know that's that that's where we're heading all the time not to, not to be bleak obviously like it's a it's part of life and it's not something to be like worried about but it is it is strange to think that we are also only here for a time i won't leave you or appa oh. but he did kind of and the mask in the background God, he's had a flashback. Get on a plane. Get on a plane right now. Where's dad? Did they break up? Did they break up? A humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one's child. He went over! Tick, tick. He's wearing dad's glasses? Or did he break his own glasses? Why am I crying? Why am I crying? Yeah, I told you I'm terrible at this. It's easy, Kevin, listen. It's all about temperature control with Dosa. First, pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set fire. <laughs> set fire. Set the fire to the lowest setting. I love how the hot plate as well has changed because they're not in Canada. It's a different looking one because they're in India. Set the fire to the lowest setting. Pour the batter and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. Add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. This will fry up the batter and make it easier to flip once the edges are brown. Okay, then it's done. Another dosaster coming up. Low. Batter. Spread. Oh, 
Oh, it looks so, they've made it look so good. I know exactly what the art style is trying to show me, you know? Oh, sorry, it's not done. And then the oil around the edges. Oh, very nicely done. Oh, too soon. Too soon? I think I did it right. I listened to her, I swear I listened. I'll cook it a bit longer. Do I need to turn the heat back up? Spread, spread it out easily when the heat is low. Okay, turn the heat down. Okay, I forgot what to do. So, water. Turn the heat down. Batter. Spread. Spread. Then oil. Then turn the heat back up. Yes. When's it done? When's it done? Oh god. Oh my god. I did it. Good job. Ready to try something harder? Uh, are you ready to try... What? Uthapam? Uthapam. Uthapam. Help! The dress will be a bit thicker this time, so we'll lay all the vegetables. Oh, pizza! Like a fold-over one? Not really though. Okay, what should I do? Uh, water. Turn it down. Batter. Thicker. Spread. Okay, veggies. Where's the oil? Actually, you can just add whatever you like. Everyone's is different. Just, okay, ghee first. Ghee first. Onions, what would I have? I would put no chili. I'd put the powder, because it looks like it's good. Carrots, onions. Yeah, turn it up. Is it ready? Or well, not yet? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I know. No chilies. I can't handle the heat. You know I can't. I told you it's easy. Well, I wouldn't say easy, but I would definitely say fun. What's this one? This is your Appa's. This was your Appa's favorite. Did they break up? Or did he die? Carry dosa is dosa with mincemeat. Oh, I'm paying attention. We're doing it with mutton here, but you can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. Okay. Okay, is this one thicker than the other ones? Good job, Kevin. Now we can start adding the curry toppings. What's curry? Not curry, curry. Then add the beaten egg as a coating, followed by the actual curry and finish it with coriander. Where's the beaten egg? Oh. Oh, didn't she say add the ghee first though? She always said add the ghee first. Oh, 
It's like a kind of omelette roti. Oh, this is... Oh, I can totally see why this is his favourite. Minced beef. And the coriander. Okay, this is my favourite. I would so eat this. This is so me. Alrighty. Okay, flip. So you put you put the the beef side of it directly down onto the hot plate with nothing else underneath. Wouldn't it stick? Maybe it's got the residue of the of the ghee from the last time you put it down. Oh, anything else? I was in the flow. You're doing great, Kevin. You can start your own dosa restaurant when you go back. I know, right? I could probably run the best one. I want to know whether he's wearing his dad's glasses or whether he broke his own glasses. If there were restaurants that served doses like this back there, you wouldn't have missed home so much and left, huh? I came here for more than just doses, Kevin. Oh, yeah, of course. I was just joking. Oh. I feel... I, f I just feel like there's conversations that need to be had between them, you know? I just feel like they need there's certain things that they need to say. But they're just not saying it. Okay, well, you start eating these. I'll make the rest and then join you. Oh, no, 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 I'll do it. Otherwise, they'll get cold before you, you can eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you then? Let me do this. Let me do it this. Let me do it this one time at least. Okay. Sure, Kevin. I want them to talk. I want them to have a heart to heart. I want her to tell him. Oh, is that like a, a yogurt mint dip? Okay, they're talking finally. I have something to show you. This is Amma's recipe book. Have you been using it? Wait, I didn't fix some of these. You fixed those too? And you wrote into meal? Oh, look how happy she is. Her eyebrows. This is great, Kevin. Is this all reach out for that show that you're writing? No, Emma. Actually, I quit that job. He did? He quit? So, in I guess in the process of doing that show and seeing his colleague and how his culture was being like I guess not spoken about because it wasn't in like a derogatory way but it was just generalized and stereotyped and he probably just realized that he just wanted more out of life from that and also seeing the book and everything and having the memory flashback I felt like a fraud I couldn't write what they wanted can write what they wanted. I can't just write about doses, saris, and musicals. Our lives are more messy than that. And sometimes it's messy. Sometimes it has people like me. <sighs> I've acted like being Tamil was inconvenient for me my whole life. But now I'm acting Tamil when it's convenient for me. When there's a job on the line couldn't deal with it I had no idea you felt this way you're being unfair to yourself I'm gonna say I have no idea you feel this way it's true Amma I'm just a tourist and I wasn't there for you after Appa he did die oh is that why she left or I contributed to it and every time I wanted to apologize I just felt too guilty to even face you. You've always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you. <sighs> and Appa. It was so sudden. I always thought there would be time to tell him how much he inspires me. 
Even the stories he made up when I was a child and read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up to him. She's going to tell him why. That's not why I came here, Kevin. You didn't? I came here that's because that's what's best for me. And even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. The people, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving. And I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. It must have been suffocating for you. And after Pavalan, well, coming back here and teaching all these kids has been great. And if I had stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Wow. One honest, respectful thing to do as a parent. Thanks, Emma. How long are you staying for? I don't know, Amma. But this is nice. Ooh. What about you? Do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know, kind of. But this is really nice. mask stays on the wall and not in some show <sighs> oh guys happy okay that's one person two people three people three people still four people five people it's a small team I really want to see everyone that made it. Alpha something. Love the music. I love the music. Additional design. Recipe book written by... Oh, it exists. The recipe book exists. Food consultants. To make sure that it was legit. Look at that raccoon. What a beautiful game. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. Visually, the writing, the writing never felt overwritten ever. It didn't feel, it actually never felt cheesy once. Not a single part of it felt cheesy, which, you know, it could have really easily gone cheesy. Um, and I really feel like it didn't. It just felt human all the way through from start to finish. And I think this is, I don't know if, if anyone couldn't have done it without this person. Special thanks to our TikTok wizard. TikTok? TikTok had a play in this? Wholesome Games. Oh, is the devs called Wholesome Games? Bum, bum, bum. Thank you for the generous support. Montreal. Oh, so it was made in Canada? Guys, I loved that. I really loved that. I, d I think the game is the game is meant to come in at like an hour and a half, but I think I spent so much either A, getting the recipes wrong or talking about my own experience that it became two hours. Um, oh my God, I loved it. Do you know what I mean? I, I wonder if you know what I mean about it. Like it, it didn't come across cheesy. I think it's it's so easy to make family games become really cheesy and it just never felt that way. It just felt so real. And I don't know if anyone watching is, you know, second generation or has got immigrant family members or um, anything like that. 
I, I wonder how relatable it is for for anybody um like you guys I, I know for a fact my dad and his brothers would have had so much to take from that as well or so much to relate to from that um you know mixtures of of pride and shame and wanting to fit in and abandoning like holding on to the culture abandoning the culture different phases as your life changes phase as well so it's not just as simple as that but i think this game like encapsulated so many of those thoughts and so many of those journeys um oh really really special and really unique i love getting to play just little different things like this, this is exactly why I, I do this and put them here because I just think there are such little hidden gems in games like this that will never see as many players as these huge, you know, blockbuster, blockbuster you know, action games do. And I, I actually feel like they have way more impact, you know? So anyway, I loved this. I loved this so much. I hope that you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Um, wherever you are in the world. And uh, yeah, it was such a pleasure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.